Um, so I just want to say, a lot of people have been anticipating what you're going to do after. Mm-hmm. Everyone's been anticipating one film, one character. Why did you pick this movie? Why this character? Well, partially because it, it's it's far removed from the other things you see me do. It's, it's far removed from 42, mm-hmm. Get On Up, uh, Black Panther, um, and it's and it's like those films that I grew up on, films that uh, you know the actors that I love to to watch. They they did films like this, you know Denzel, Pacino, De Niro, the great, the great. You know they they have films that have action but they also have um, depth and grit to them so uh, that's the reason why it it, it it checked all those boxes and it came to me um, right at the time when um, you know I was finishing doing like three Marvel films um, and so it, it, it uh, gave me the opportunity to produce um, gave me the opportunity to have input on on story in a way that, that I felt like would be meaningful. Um, and there was this cast that we could put together um, that I felt like would just be a lot of fun and a lot of growth for everyone, you know, but certainly for myself. You play a mother and a badass uh, character. Mm-hmm. It's great to see strong female characters coming through. Hope we see more of them show the world that women can be mothers and still be badass. Mm-hmm. When you first read her, what is your first thought when you read it on paper and did it evolve? It definitely evolved. What I read was different to what it was initially, mm-hmm. but I knew that she was, the stakes were really high for her. Mm-hmm. You know, she has a sick kid at home, she's a single mother. And I was just curious to be, you know, what is a woman in that world? What is this, what is the training for somebody to become a narcotics detective? What has she seen and experienced? Yeah, women can be mothers and badasses. So I was, yeah, boom. So you're both Canadian. Yep. But you guys are playing the bad guy in the film. I've never met a Canadian and I'm like, it's good to meet you guys. Great film, really enjoyed it. Thanks. You guys were like the yin and the yang. You were really bad, and you had a lot of good in you. Yeah. Your bad gauge was like that. Yeah, your bad gauge was like that. And then it was like that. So it wasn't too much. So your character for me, I felt sorry for him at moments. Uh, He had like this authenticity. He had this vulnerability that I liked. And watching him, I didn't. I wanted good things to happen to you. I didn't want you to get caught. I didn't want anything bad to happen to you. Yeah. When audiences leave the theater, what do you want them to think about him? Um. You know, ultimately, I just wanted to give the world Michael's truth. Maybe this started off as a a little bit of a bad thing, but I don't believe that this made Ray and Michael bad people and at the core of them, and that's not who they were. I think a lot of this may have come out of desperation. Circumstances? Circumstance. Um, And I think that, you know, just us wanted to to ride with with each other, um, you know, sharing that brotherhood. So I think I'm I'm happy with with people interpreting it however they want to. So it's a beautiful yin and yang. Yeah. Not just your complexions, but there is a yin and a yang. Yeah. I've been following your work a lot. Great job, both of you. Um, Your character, a real badass. Uh, I wanted you to get caught from the word go. I wanted bad things to happen to you from the word go. How did you prepare for this character? Because you really pulled it off and he was quite a bad guy, man. Um, man, we didn't have a whole lot of time to bite into the prep, unfortunately, but in that way, it was, you're just going with your gut instinct, a lot of it. And Brian Kirk, who directed this, was awesome. Just gave us a lot of freedom, which is very empowering as an actor. And uh, I'm lucky to be uh, trained with the weapons and whatnot before I got to set. So uh, you hit the ground running, no pun intended. Uh, with this, so it was a lot of just working off this guy, which is not a bad day at work, you know? And then um, it, we had a great set as well. So you guys worked very well together. Another character that really stole the show was New York City at night. Mm-hmm. How was it working in New York City? For me, my favorite city in the world. You break it to him? Ooh. Ooh. So nice. <laughs> You're so excited. I love, I love New York, man. I love New York. <laughs> yeah, we do too. Uh, if only we actually got to go there. <laughs> yes. Uh, uh, man, um, to tell you the truth, a lot of this film was actually made in Philadelphia. You know, really, there's nothing like being in New York. I it's mean, true. Just, just what an energy, even in the, you know, the deepest, darkest um, oh. hours of the night. Yeah. yeah. You just have this life, this pulse that is forever, um, you know, existing and present. So. 
pretty Why cool. should people watch this film? Damn, this film? it's an original action thriller, character driven, and um, if you love that, then go. And the cast is badass. You guys are badass guys. Long live Canada. Appreciate love, it. Love, yeah. love, love your country yes. guys, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, brother. Replicate, yeah. Gotta replicate.